I'm going to use this 3D MRI image of the brain to illustrate some of the new features uh, with our 3D surfaces, in particular those for making measurements. So let me build the surface. We won't go through the build. We'll load one that was previously built. It'll save us some time. And so here's a surface that was built. I'm going to enlarge this window a bit so we can see things better. And we'll zoom in on it a little bit. So this was just built using a threshold up over that brain. Uh, there's a few features we can add here so you can see. Uh, we can show the orientation. Orientations are at the edge of the field of view and they're at the center of those edges so they tend to stay out of the way of anything you might build as a 3D surface. The other information, the translation, has to do with how we move things around in the display, including moving it towards us or away from us, shown here, and rotation is how we've oriented in the display. So these are tools to help us sort of get back to where we want to, want to view something, and in particular we can save a position. We can go to the starting position of the image, and we can go back to the save, save position. So let me turn a few of these other features off and we will move on to illustrate measurements uh, in our 3D display. So I'm going to start by adding an axial cut plane. When you have a single cut plane you divide the 3D volume into two parts. When you add a second cut plane you divide it into four parts. This is one fourth, that's one fourth, so forth. Let's keep this one exposed. and add a sagittal cut plane. Now we have it into ace and we can select which one we want to look at. I'm going to zoom it up a little bit more for this. As I press the shift key notice the cursor changes from a hand to a pointer and now when I click if you watch the menu over here or the main dialog you'll see the locations show up. I'm going to click several locations. So we can get locations within the slices or locations along the surface as well this way. We can also embed points in the 3D data. And notice when I embed it in the 3D data, it's a point shape. This is point one. It's region of interest for point one in the slices. So points, shapes in the 3D surface are region of interest as points over here. Let's add a couple more points and we'll change the colors. Uh, and I'm gonna use the shift double click one over here, and let's put one out on the surface on this side someplace. And here we go. So we can see the two that are on the slices show up in the slices because we haven't moved them. If I come back to this image and select all regions, they're highlighted. And if we go to analysis region statistics, we can get their locations and what values they were in the image uh, at that point. So and we can use these to navigate to those locations. But I'm going to remove this for now because we're really more interested in what we can do in the 3D surface viewer. In particular, uh, let's see what we can do to a point. We have three points, a red, green, and blue one. And we can go to them. Uh, that would move the crosshairs to the point. We can hide them if we don't want them present for some reason, or we can remove them. Uh, what we really would like to do is draw a line to it. In this case, we're going to draw a line from point one to point two. Then we're going to draw a line from point 2 to point 3. And we'll draw a third line from the third point back to the first one. So now we have a set of lines for measuring distances. And if we want to measure those distances, we can measure them all here. These distances are measured in millimeters in this natural image that hasn't been transformed in any way. So a nice feature that we have now is that once you have a point, it's an object you can double click it and move it someplace else. And we'll get to where we can point at this better, double click it, and I can even move it out on the surface if I want to. Really nice feature for being able to make measurements, uh, making use of both the surface rendering and the slice viewing capabilities in Mango. So let me uh, remove all of these because I want to show you some of the other features. And 
I'll take out the couple of the cut planes here and see what, what we can do to measure with the surface itself. So in the surface we have the capability of measuring surface area, surface area that's cut away, volume and volume that's cut away. Before we do that I want to emphasize that thing. I'm going to go and change the rendering mode for this surface so we can see through it so that you realize that the surface that we've extracted for this particular from this particular brain using a single threshold has lots of interior surfaces including those around the lateral ventricles so what you might expect for surface areas and volumes uh, is is a bit different now you might want to measure those surface areas and volumes excluding certain things or including certain things but if you want to get just the exterior surfaces there's a better way of doing that and I'm going to open up a, a different surface file for this. This is one created with the shrink wrap threshold and now we see it's a hollow brain pretty much and I'm going to turn the rendering back to okay and we'll zoom him up a little bit more and I'm going to turn on the sagittal cut plane and we're about mid sagittal here So if we go to the measure capability now and measure all, he has to actually build this plane and go through measuring everything. We see that in addition to the line measures, we have we have the surface area of what was cut away, the surface area of what was residual, and then volumes in a similar fashion. And if we remove this and ask for the same measurements, we can see that these two sum within one of these volume. So we have a reasonably good way to measure surface areas and volumes and allowing you to use cut planes to get sub subset areas and volume measurements. So this includes this, this uh, demonstration of some of the surface, new surface and 3D features in Mango in particular, those that related to the point shapes and the lines and measuring distances and how we can measure surface area and volume.